You may have a cookie when you finished your dinner. Ah. La la! Oh, Mom, we're gonna be late for my play if we don't leave now. Just a minute. Ah. Now, you know I'm the lead wood nymph. If I'm not there, the whole Enchanted Forest thing goes right down the toilet. Fran, I have been waiting in that car with your mother for 10 minutes. Just your mother and me, in the car, 10 minutes. I'm on my way. Thank you. Robbie, we're leaving. OK. Now, honey, your brother is finishing his dinner, so no cookies for him till he cleans his plate. What cookie? You sure you don't mind having to stay here and babysit? Mom, to avoid Charlene's play, I'd be willing to throw myself down the stairs, sustain severe head injuries, and eat through a tube the rest of my life. That's sweet, dear. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Huh? Freeze! <clears throat> Set the cookie down. I'm in charge, and I'm telling you, put the cookie down. Hey, uh-uh, don't you even think about it. Very good. Nice and slow. That's it. Yeah. Hey, hey, I told you not to do that. Now, come on, spit it out. Come on, spit it out. Don't you swallow. Don't you dare swallow. Huh? Uh, are you okay? Baby, little guy, come on, come on, swallow. Uh, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Oh, please don't. Uh, put your arms up, lift your arms, lift your arms. Come on now, breathe. Swallow, swallow. You're not breathing. You're not breathing. Swallow, huh? Oh, no, what did I do? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, you can have the cookie. I'm home. Come on, I gotta do something. I'll call an ambulance. Uh, what is that emergency number? What is it? 911. 911. Uh, <clears throat> hello, hello, emergency? Yeah, I want to report a dead baby dinosaur. What happened? Well, he pretended to choke on a cookie, and when his big brother found out he was faking, he beat the living tar out of him. <laughs> hey, that was a dirty trick. I was really scared. <laughs> don't you laugh at this? <laughs> hey, don't you ever scare me like that again. Scaring someone like that is not funny at all. You think you're pretty funny, don't you? I'm a scream! <laughs> you're going to bed. No, 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 no. Not bed. Not sleepy. Tell me a story. After what you just pulled, you're going straight to bed. Story, story, story! Hmm. You want a story? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you a story. And you like the scary stuff, right? Uh-huh. Okay. How about if we make it a scary story? Yeah, scary story! Okay. This is a totally true story that happened on an autumn night just like this one. Uh -huh. There was a full moon in the sky and a cold wind in the air. Uh -huh. I was walking this girl home from a date. Oh, Robbie, it's really nice of you to walk me home, but why do we have to take a shortcut through a graveyard? Don't you think it's kind of romantic? Romantic? Hey! Oh! <laughs> yeah, you nuts at the graveyard! Oh, yeah, but don't you think it's got a kind of mood? <laughs> yeah, a real creepy mood. Aww. And isn't this the graveyard where those kids got attacked by rabid caveman? Oh, that story? Yeah. Well, little lady, if there's a rabid caveman here, and I highly doubt it, you needn't worry because Robbie Sinclair is here to protect you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come here, you. Yeah, you're pretty good at beating up girls. Let's see how you do with somebody your own size, Buzzball. <laughs> that, that was pretty respectable. Uh, uh, so what are you gonna do now, smart guy? Huh? Huh? Uh, ah! Ah! Ow, my arm! My arm! Ow. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh. Oh, Robbie, you were so brave. Huh? You saved my life. Well, I guess I did, didn't I? Oh, your arm. <laughs> oh, Is no. It bad? No, no, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. Oh. Uh, 
a really big scratch that uh bleeds a whole lot. Oh, <laughs> but, Robbie. Uh, listen, don't worry about me. Let's get you home, huh? All right. Okay. Huh? He bit you? Were you all right? I wasn't sure. The wound the caveman had given me was like nothing I'd ever seen. Did you wash it with soap and water? I did. But the strange thing was, it wouldn't heal. Get out of here! No doctor could help me. But there was one dinosaur who knew of such things. Who? The oldest and wisest dinosaur in the land. Uh, uh, excuse me? You have come for advice to ease the torment in your soul. Wow. How did you know that? Not many guys come out here just to shoot the breeze. I see your point. So, I've come to see you because I was bitten by a caveman last night near the old graveyard. Did you wash it with soap and water? Yes. Let me see the wound. Oh, um, here. No. Oh. And there's a strange mark that appeared on my hand. Yes, I have seen this kind of mark before. Huh? It means you may re-enter the amusement park at any time without paying a second admission. No, 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 not that mark. This one. Oh. This one's not so good. Huh? It is the sign of the pentagram. Uh, you were bitten by... Well, yeah, but just by a caveman. Not a caveman. A were-man. What? A were-man is a creature what is cursed. Huh? A dinosaur who turns into a caveman when the moon is full. But, but what's going to happen to me? More bad news. Now the curse has passed to you. What? Now you will change at the coming of the full moon. You will thirst only for the blood of innocent ones. Yeah, but, but there must be a way to stop it. There is only one way. You must strike yourself senseless with a club of the purest silver. A uh, club of silver? And then I'm cured? Of the curse, you're cured. But the extensive facial and internal organ damage... Oh, boy. <gasps> oh, no! The moon's coming up! Then hurry. Hurry that you may save yourself. Yeah, yeah. Remember, a silver club. Solid silver, not plate. Go to a reputable dealer. I have a cousin. I raced home, desperate to rid myself of the terrible curse. I had little time before the full moon would rise again, and my only hope lay in finding a silver club with which to beat myself senseless. Unfortunately, the stores were all out, so I had to make do with a spoon. <clears throat> this could take hours. <clears throat> Hey, you want to turn that down? I'm on the phone here. Can't even gossip without you. Uh, 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 oh, what's happening to me? of the were-man was upon me. Slowly and painfully, my body was transforming into that of a ferocious, vicious caveman with hair growing out of me everywhere. Uh, uh, ah! <laughs> Scared yet? No. Good, because now it gets really scary. So that night, as the were-man, I went into a terrible rampage! Cheating on her diets, she'd have a cow. <laughs> I told you she'd be mad. No. Oh. Hi, friend. We didn't think you'd be up this late. Oh. 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 Jeez, friend. Um, how can I say this delicately? You look uh... like a stinking hairy caveman. Charlene, you have a lot to learn about tact. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not mom. Kill it, Daddy. Kill it. Oh yeah. Come on. Right. Get, get away. Get, get, get Come on. Off of the house. Get out of here. Out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Me. What was that? Oh, some sort of strange, inexplicable creature, half human, and yet with a weird dinosaur-like quality. It's like nothing we've ever seen before. Oh. What should we do? Hunt it down and kill it. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll call the angry mob. Oh, oh, the number's on the fridge. Thanks. Sure. Then what happened? I roamed the night, 
desperately thirsting for the blood of a dinosaur. Any dinosaur. He loves you. <laughs> he loves me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Oh. Look! There it is! Yeah. Let's kill the monster we don't understand and therefore fear. Yeah. 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 As I ran from the mob like a hunted beast, it dawned on me I had almost killed the one dinosaur that I truly loved. Or at least I'd gotten a second face with. And then the true horror of my fate swept over me. I was doomed to relive this nightmare night after night, stalking the earth. Thirsting for the blood of innocent dinosaurs. Scared yet? No way! Can't scare me! Oh, yeah? Well, there is something I forgot to mention. What? The old gypsy in the woods had said there were two ways to end the curse. No, she didn't! Yes, she did. You just forgot. So I went to the forest to find her again. <laughs> Why have you returned? You have to help me. You said there was another way to end the curse. I did? Yes, remember? Oh, oh, right. The other method for removing the curse. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't tell you. It's too horrible. I don't care. You must tell me. Nothing could be more horrible than this living hell. All right. I will tell you the extremely horrible and scary way. Come closer. Huh? The only other way to end the curse of the Wehrman is this. You must eat the toes of a bad baby dinosaur who won't go to sleep when he's told. What? You must eat the toes of a bad baby dinosaur who won't go to sleep when he's told. Did all of them? All of them. Even the piggy toes. <laughs> and that is what she told me just one hour ago. Huh? That's right. Uh, it's not a story at all. Not a story? No, it's all true. Uh, and now we both know what I must do to end my life of torment. What? You understand, don't you? That's why I sent all of them to the school play. Ah. That's why I stayed home with you tonight. <laughs> Look, the moon is rising. It is full. Soon I will become the Wehrman. I must act now. What? <laughs> Drop my doll, do it, please. Sure, little buddy. It's right down here, huh. right near your toes. <laughs> I got you. I got you good. How does it feel? <laughs> hey. Hey, where'd you go? Uh, um, uh... Hey, come on. I was only kidding. Where are you? My toes! Huh? My toes! Stay away! Help! Help! Ah! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, I was, I was only making it up. I just wanted to show you that it isn't funny being scared. Now, come on down. Ah! Calm down. Look, it's me, Robbie. I'm not a wearman. It's only a story. No, no, look, I just made it up. It's not true. Yes, it is. Mommy! Okay, okay, look, look, look. If you come down, I'll give you a cookie. Mommy! I'll give you all the cookies you want. Okay, let's talk. Okay, look, here's the cookie jar and... It's empty! Uh... You promised, Mommy! Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 look, look. I'll get you some cookies and candy, I swear. Where? Uh, at the store. Store's closed. All right, all right, look, I'll go next door and ask them for some candy. Uh, then, then, then I'll go from house to house to house, begging for candy until I get you a whole bag full, okay? Now, will you come down? Oh, for Pete's sake, you could be at the door at this hour. Mm. Yeah, should have known. Hi, sir. Hi. I, I was wondering if we could have some candy. Yeah. What is this? Some kind of trick? No, 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 no. it's just a treat for the baby. Yeah. You Sinclair kids come around here at this hour of the night on, what is this, the 31st of October, and expect me to give you candy? Yeah. Get lost! <laughs> oh. uh, Gee, maybe next time we should wear costumes. Yeah. Nah. First up, new music by Roadkill. This is from their smashing new debut album, Cats on the Grill. 
this is the single doe, a deer, a big dead deer. Stop it! Quiet! Oh, hold on, hold on. What were you? Don't want to hear that. What's something good? Well, I hardly think you're in a position to do any... Ow! Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, what do you want? I want to sing! You don't have a song? Yes, I do. This is highly irregular. Whoa! Ah, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> OK, um, here is the uh, baby with a song of some sort. Kick it! I'm the 